Hey everyone and welcome to today's video. In this video I will show you step by step how to deposit crypto onto your Coinbase wallet. Now the first thing you want to do is to simply open up your Coinbase wallet application and then you want to click on receive. You can then just go over to the search bar and search for any cryptocurrency. So before you select a coin you would like to deposit onto your Coinbase wallet, you want to go over to any of the other cryptocurrency exchanges on which you have your funds available. For me this is Binance and then I will go over to my wallet and search for the cryptocurrency I would like to deposit onto Coinbase wallet. Now as you guys can see I hold XRP or Ripple and Reserve Rights. So I will go over to Coinbase wallet and search for XRP. You'll then see that it is available so you can then select the coin and click on share address. Then you just simply want to click on copy and once you've copied your wallet address you want to go over to Binance, click on XRP and then click on withdrawal. Now of course on any other crypto exchange you just need to do the same. On Coinbase for example you want to go over to send and then search for the same cryptocurrency you would like to deposit. So as long as you've got the same currency selected on Coinbase wallet and the other exchange there's nothing that can go wrong. So on Binance I've selected XRP or Ripple and on Coinbase wallet I've also selected XRP. So now I'll just go ahead and paste in my address and then you have to select the network. You can then see that in this case there's the BAP2, the BAP20 and the Ripple chain. If you're not sure which chain to use, please go ahead and ask me in the comments down below or go over to Google and search for which chain to use to transfer and then the name of the currency you would like to transfer. You can also see the fees and in this case I know that I need to use the Ripple chain. So I'll just click on confirm. So as you guys can see there's a tag. However, when you click on the explanation mark, You'll see that you need to confirm if there is a receiving address that requires the memo or tag or if it doesn't. Now in this case it does not. So you can then just go ahead and fill in the amount you would like to transfer. You can also click on max to select all of your available holdings. And then you just want to click on withdrawal. Click on confirm. And then you want to click on confirm once again. And you'll then just have to go through the security verification process. So you want to click on send code and fill in the two factor authentication codes sent to your phone, your email or maybe generated in the Google Authenticator. And once you've filled in those codes, the last and final thing you want to do is to click on submit. If you found this video helpful, let me know by leaving a like or subscribing to my channel for more tutorials about cryptocurrencies.